thank you for joining me on this. And as you can see here, it's uh, yet another gameplay stream day. Um, I'm excited to take another look at Robin today. We got the latest build from Shadow with a bunch of changes. This time, the UI actually worked right. Um, so I'll be able to get through maybe with dying a little bit less. My lack of FPS skills. Um, but as you can see here on the screen, I've got... Oh, all right, here we go. Try this again. How about now, Gonzo? Hey, Detail Devil. Blippy. Okay, thank you, people. It's always the audio. How about now? A little bit better? And uh, we'll check for my mic. Much better. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Note to self. I got to take a screenshot of my, my audio setup. Hold up here, folks. Boom. All right. Welcome. Good day. Uh, Gonzo, Detail Devil, Smalio, thank you for being here. Um, I'm very happy today to be here with uh, Shadow Mimicry as well. And we're taking another look at RoboWind, uh, the final version of the demo with a couple fixed things in place, some changed design. And also we've got the... Uh, uh, the menu working. Uh, if you saw last week, you might remember that. So um, anyway, just jumping right into it. Let's get this out of the way here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, you'll notice on the screen here, uh, if you are a Linux user, you might be familiar with uh, what's on the screen here. But if you're not, just a real quick blurb about this, what you're seeing here, it's kind of common in the Linux community to show your specs with like an all terminal based thing here you know and so if you go to like our unix porn on reddit for example you'll see a lot of people showing off this kind of a thing so um you know just a quick rundown of what my machine is like here um void linux my main distro for eight plus years now for whatever reason it refers to my motherboard as a host uh <laughs> been up for just an hour, just over an hour um this is all irrelevant resolution i got two displays at 1440p open box window manager so i don't have like a compositor uh by default that comes from my video drivers which as you can see down here for my graphics card i've got an amd 5700 xt graphics card 32 gigs of ram and a ryzen 5 cpu um so you know not the most modern system uh certainly but you know i can do open mw pretty well so okay let's get that out of the way enough showing off <laughs> Let's get into it, huh? All right. We'll start up another new game. <clears throat> Make sure I can see you folks well enough, too. Okay, we're going to skip the tutorial because I think I got reasonably good enough last time. Let's just... Uh, there we go. All right. We're good to go. Thumbs up, Shadow Mimicry. Whoosh. Skip the training. Yes. Oh, no. <sighs> Jesus Christ. All Press right. J to read the helm. <laughs> the Central Artificial Intelligence Unit 01 requests the communication session with the Sphere Station. Hey, Clay! Welcome! I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for hopping on. We're just uh, checking out uh, some RoboWind, so I'm so glad you're here. Uh, Wabajack, mod list author, here joining us today. How cool. directly to the controller of the WR0 block. All right. I love this intro, and actually, my goal for playing this demo is to hear that awesome credits tune again, and then we can celebrate. <laughs> Journal has everything I need, Shadow Mimicry says. That's great. That's really great. Let's, let's get a clap for Shadow Mimicry and Ancient, and everybody else who worked on this, huh? I will say this gives me major Metroid Prime vibes. I mean, that's a great thing. It's one of my favorite games. This scene in particular. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Alright, 
and as you can see here, we got a nifty inventory menu here. Um, we've actually got items and stuff that we can use uh, this time around. As of right now, I don't think I have many um, healing implements. Man, I can, okay, no, don't do that. Uh, okay, let's get back in it. All right, whoa, more friends. Yikes, I gotta watch myself here. Ah, nice. Cool, I like that. Ooh. I really like, so I really like the use of having the dialogue pop up like that, kind of as a, as a hint of what to do. That's neat. I'm a big fan of that. Kind of like in Saints Row games when they draw like the arrows on the road rather than making you look at a map in the corner. Keep me focused on the UI. Okay, let's get the, the boom stick. Yeah, here we go. The wacky smashy smash stick. I like this thing. So I love the, if you double tap in any direction, well, except for back, of course. But yeah, if you do the double tap, you have the, the dash move, which I just think is pretty cool. All right. We got a computer right here. Stuff to get. Yeah, I love it. It's satisfying. I agree. <laughs> like I'm really gonna, you know, really gonna whack somebody. Okay. Start the loader. Cool, more UI stuff. I like this. Really nice touch. Last time, I had trouble figuring out that I had to whack this thing. Now we know. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> and in we go. All right, you know what? I better get my bullets ready here. Whoop. Right, exactly, Gonzo. Exactly. Yeah, again, it's one of the reasons why I loved Saints Row games. Um, the user interface was, oh, no. There I go again, stepping on the mine, see? That's another thing I'm not gonna do this time, I promise. All right. All right, see, there's more mines right there. I see them. All right. Let's get the smashy stick. Yeah, yeah. This the one that was locked on the other side. Here we go, whoosh. Nice. And I just love, like, the puzzles are cool touch and coming around and being able to open the doors. And yeah, here we are. Really great touch. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to get all this stuff. I'm going to need bullets. And let's take a look again. Ship menu. You know, I. Didn't look at that before. The Ghostbusters game. Oh, you mean the one by Terminal Reality? The the PS2 one, you mean? I've heard really good things about that, and it was tempted to pick it up on GOG. Ship menu. Okay, so this must be right here for when I'm in the ship, perhaps. Logbook. Cool. Okay, this must be the stuff that I got, possibly from the tutorial. Cool. Okay. Okay. Nice. And then, of course, we have the inventory over here. And you can see I've got ammo and stuff like that. Okay. There we go. Repair hull. So that's awesome. Okay. That's what I was missing last time. PS3. Okay. Okay. You might be right on that. Yeah. Um. Definitely looked good. And, and uh, as somebody who, whoops, you know what? Let's go ahead and somebody who grew up in the era of the Ghostbusters. Always piqued my interest. Okay. That's a little bit better. Cool. Now, I do actually like the HUD here, too, and it's actually kind of cool to have, like, my the player doll there with the inventory and stuff. It's actually, I don't think it's, like, too distracting. I think it feels part of the, you know, the natural look of the game. Okay, so. Let's make sure we got a, we got a down button there. Did I miss anything over here? Whoa. Whoa. That dash finger. You gotta watch out. Okay, so we're at a yeah, we're at a turning point. I think I'm gonna go this way. 
Oh yes, I remember this place. Don't touch the pillars. Yeah, okay. Wait, wait, is that ammo? Yeah, okay, okay. Yes, nice, I dig it. time. Oh, you. Come on. It's my fan club. Who? supposed to activate oh Okay, here you go. <laughs> I like it. Good. That's good. See, I wish I could not have the bias of my first playthrough on here, but that's okay. We're getting through it. Now look at here, you. Uh, let's heal myself here. I think I might be done here for now. Let's see what loot is over here. We're going to hop on over to the other section. But not before we grab that. Press journal. All right, cool. So we have done what we needed to do here. Thank you, Shadow Mimicry. Reminded me that, yeah, at any time we can look at the journal... And it tells us what we need to do. Cool. And we are done in this section. Cool. Let's smash some more stuff elsewhere. Hmm? Mm, yeah, I need that. And N to shoot burst. Yeah, there we go. Definite Metroid Prime vibes, though, with the, the visuals and just... The kind of like I'm in some kind of a nefarious space station, you know. If you ever played the intro to Metroid Prime, totally what I'm feeling. Ooh, okay, here we go. Oop. Holographic friends. Come here, you. I like that sound. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's actually something I wanted to do in my own mod. That's too cool. Hey, Elite Gig, hey. Oh, wait, that's, uh, yeah, wait. Mm. Okay, cool spam. Hey, Gonzo, you want to take care of that dude for me? Thank you so much. I read the name and then started reading what they said and was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Thanks, but no thanks. Thank you, Gonzo. Ooh. 
Dr. Gonzo coming through. Man is my attorney. And I feel very good about that. Cool. All right. Wait, so I got some stuff here. Let's take a minute. Let's look at all the goodies that I got now. So I've got nuclear grenade. Paralyze energy particle. Okay. This is going to come in handy, I think. And okay, rockets and nuclear particles. Okay, cool. So that's ammo. Presumably for guns I don't have yet. All right, let's leave it like that. Again, I'm still comfortable with the UI. It's pretty good. Um, and I like this area. It's very... The progression of it was cool, and I love the sound effect letting me know, hey, I did good. That's really great. Reminds me of Legend of Zelda. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Right? Wait, journal real quick. Boom. Done. All right. Okay. Now, I believe there was... I see you, mines. I don't think I have the thing that I need to... Hmm, to get in there. Ha-ha! <laughs> I love the dash. That's too cool. Yeah, okay, we need the blue switch, Corky. We don't have that yet. We need to go upstairs. If I recall correctly. Um, still nothing down here. Okay, yeah. Upstairs it is. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're trying to do some open MW over here, if you don't mind. Please. Oh, hey. I hear a friend. Oh, there you are, friend. Ah, the sidestep dash. Very satisfying. Oh, hey. Again, here we are. It's all one big connected level. So fun. Oh, okay. Um, I was just reminded by Shadow Mimicry that you can actually grab the mines. There's a new part in the inventory that I skipped. <laughs> all right. Well, I will try to not just dash over them next time. So I, I take it then I can activate them, like in Fallout, for example. Let me know. Oh, hey. All right, well, here we are. Let's try it. <laughs> May not be lucky. Okay. Uh, I got enough health. Let's do it. Yeah, okay, I tried this last time, actually. <gasps> I did it. Now, now I remember last time I was not lucky. <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, that's better than just straight up walking over it. You know, at least I tried to defuse it. All right. It does not, but that would be kind of cool. You mean like my gun bullet? Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Maybe that's something we can eventually do with shaders, like when the shaders can uh, detect, you know, those kind of bullets and whatnot. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> itchy trigger finger right now. You'll have to excuse me. Um, going up. Let's just take one more look around the corner here. There is no corner. I shouldn't. I was going to take a drink of my beverage, but I know better. Okay, we got a couple places we can venture off to here, as I recall. Maybe some buddies are on the corner. Okay, thank you. Helpful, too. And this is no good. You don't want to walk into that. All right. Boop. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do remember. This is super neat. 
this effect here. I don't know how you pulled that off, but that's pretty cool. Some kind of a nice switch node or some kind of mesh trickery. I dig it. Whoa! I should dig not dying more. Collected everything from here. That's a helpful pop-up. Ah, very nice. Ooh, and what's this? Is this my... Okay, let's see. Plasma grenade launcher. Ooh, I like it. Very nice. Blue core key. We're in business. That was close. I really got hit at five. All right, <laughs> let's go. Be a little bit more aware here. That's what I'm saying. I can't even. I gotta be on my guard here. I want to enjoy the scenery, right? Wow, but I'm just gonna get shot if I do that again. Um, it seems somewhat safe, so I will pause for a moment and just really admire the detail. You know, it's like a Dwemer construct in space. I just really get some awesome vibes from this, and I hope you guys are loving it too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and yeah, the gun. Very satisfying. Very cool looking. And maybe someday we will see some some actually lit bullets, you know. Uh, I just can't get enough of this effect, though. Like, covering the ground where I walk. I just love that. This one, too. The little portally looking thing. Exquisite. Okay. Moving on. Now let's go back down. We got that key. Let's uh, back on the first level. You're very welcome, Shadow Mimicry. It's my pleasure. He says to me, thank you. Right? Yeah, totally. And especially not using any Bethesda files you know it's, it's all original stuff really is just astonishing because we've got a distinct gameplay here too you know i'm a little biased because i know open mw is morrowind in spirit but like so it's hard for me to completely like i've never played open mw just playing rwc but it still is a distinct fun game that it, and it's definitely not morrowind so yeah props to the team it's too cool some of this stuff is you know, I wanted to see, like, health pickups in Morrowind and things like that. So, uh, oh, hey, welcome, Wicked Kane. This is actually uh, not just a mod. This is RWC, RoboWind Construct. This is a whole new game made with the OpenMW engine, not using any Bethesda, you know, files or properties or anything. So props go out to Shadow Mimicry and the Mad Team. Um, and, yeah, we're just about uh, ready to move on through this. Welcome. Thank you for joining. I'm very glad that you're here today. We're going to try our luck here. Not so lucky again. Ooh. Just love this dash move. All right. There we go. Moving up. I got 28 rockets here, you know. I think I'm gonna... Ooh. My, my. Okay, watch out for that one. And these ones. Can I... Hmm. Ah! No good. <laughs> uh oh. Cool. Okay. Wow. Saved. Hit the good old F5 button just in case Todd help us. I don't survive. I just, I want to take a moment to enjoy the scenery, but I know what happens when I do that. We're summer, whoa, along the edge of the desert. When the robots attack. Wait, no, oh cool, this is a, this is a new effect here. I like this. 
Oh, and I can use the mines. Shadow Mimicry has reminded me. Thank you so much. Um, I just see, I took a moment to admire this cool effect that you made, and then I got attacked. <laughs> this is really cool, though. I think this is new. I don't remember seeing this last time. Um, we got a locked door here, I presume. Yeah, we need that red core key. Very cool. Oh, okay. So you can drop mines, and then they won't hurt you. Um, and But they will obviously blow up on uh, on enemies. That's interesting. Okay, so I've got one reprogram mine. I will try to remember to use that maybe against a boss. That would be interesting. Cool, cool. Totally, it's beautiful. It's like energy swirl. Okay, let's not get too distracted. Locked on the other side. Thank you, Hank. Thank you so kindly. Okay. We'll grab those. I'm going to go ahead and be a little F5 happy. Don't judge. Wow, so I can move forward and I can tap diagonal and get like a side. Oh, man. This has some, like, multiplayer potential. This is a very satisfying movement. Let's not lose our heads here, though. Ooh, you know what this means. Blammo. That's the Robo Wind equivalent of the Zelda You Did Something Good sound, I think. All right, let's get the smashy stick out here. I don't want to waste bullets on a crate. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, okay, it's the bridge right here. Okay, seems like, uh, so since it seems like a good place to kind of stop, and let's just, I want to look at the detail of the structure here, and just this floor is really nice looking you know and kind of how it responds to the light and just take a moment to admire the care and the beauty that went into this um before we go and smash some stuff eh? all right f5 once again let's pull the guns out yeah and i hopefully will not fall this time huh. right no there you are. Alright. Yes. Okay. I should probably GTFO. But I just feel obliged to smash everything. There we go. Alright. Yay, now we can admire this room too. This console. Again, a nice, you know, reflection on the assets there the wire trenches yeah very very much so and again just i'm feeling like a very high quality production here too um i'm just getting metroid i keep saying metroid prime metroid prime it's one of my favorite sci-fi action games though uh-oh <laughs> all right there we go That's cool. This is next generation diagonal locking for those of you who remember the non-normalized input of the original engine of Morrowind. Woohoo! This is how Todd truly intended that to work. Alright. I honestly don't have a lot of health, and I'm a little kind of not sure if I want to do that. Whew, okay. Ooh. I don't think I remember this one. This is a new one. All right, let me have a quick sip here now that it seems mildly safe to do so. Um, by the way, folks, we got VV here with me today. And we got the python. We got the snake here. Okay, woof, here we go. No, that was a major fail. Oh, I tried to dash over it and just... 
I didn't do it. <sighs> Two powder coffee day? Uh, I don't think so. Thank you, Smalio. I appreciate that. Can I hit this? All right, here's what we're going to do. Uh, go ahead and equip one of these. Ah, Space Farmer, welcome. Yeah, this is, uh, so this is a, a fully, uh, Turok 2, totally, Sophia. Yeah, that nails it. Um, this is a new, actually a new game, not just a mod. Um, not based on Morrowind at all, but yeah, this is it. <laughs> welcome. Thank you for hopping in today, man. Press E and left mouse to trigger the site. Oh, okay. With the sniper. Okay, okay. Thank you, Shadow Mimicry. I appreciate that. Let's go here. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, look at this. Wow, that's cool. I still can't hit the mine, but I'm not even mad. Ooh, but I don't have a lot of bullets of that, so I'm going to hold on to it. That's pretty cool. Okay, whoops. As I casually waste my bullets. All right. F5 here and uh, hold on to your butts. Hey, all right. That was some Todd level gymnastics there. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yes, okay, boom, here we are, right where we need to be. I love that design. Uh, you know, like where you don't have to like walk all the way out the cave. You kind of magically, by good design, end up where you need to go. F5 it up. Moving on, all right. Ooh, okay. There's that friendly sound. Oh, hey, friendo. like a mini boss kind of a guy I think he was tough all right ooh field generation okay cool yeah right <laughs> whoops oh oh yeah this is where we got that yeah nice I remember this one talk about satisfying right Get the stuff, ammo, and hopefully some health. I'm in dire need of. All right, Todd, help us. All right. Ah, yes. We've been expecting you. All right, you know what? I'm not confident about my close quarters game or my running out of ammo game. All right, I'm not going to run out of these. Here we go. Hmm. Oh, okay, this is familiar territory, I think. Ooh, got a blue version of that prior effect. Nice. Dig that. Look at that. Whew. So if I click this, maybe it will... Mm hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I don't have the code. That's right. Mm, there's a keypad right here. Mm. Do I? Aha, I sure do. Access code for the command compartment. A 0619. Let's do it. 0619. No, no, no. Enter. Here we go. We got some friends waiting for us on the other side here, if I recall. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Hey, welcome, unsweet teen sticks. Uh, this is not Starwind. This is Robowind, RWC, Robowind Construct, 
construct, a completely new game, uh, where Starwind still kind of uses some Morrowind files. This one is a completely new game, a uh, first-person shooter. Thank you for joining. I'm really glad you're here today. Yeah, we're just about to uh, hopefully not die this time. Let's go. All right, yes. I'm telling you, it's, I'm just not good at first-person shooters. That's what it is. Shadow Mimicry says again, and he smiled at me. Oh, no, bro. All right. I'm going to do what I did last time and run back and get some health. I can, ooh, we got that interesting light bug going on, too. Uh, do I have any? Oh, shoot. Armor. Oh, okay, wait, these are different. 83, 30, oh, wow, yeah. What am I doing? I need this, okay. Good, good. I still think I'm gonna run back and try and get some health. Maybe I can find some friends. There we go, there we go. Do me a solid, there you go. All right, this might be enough. Maybe I won't get killed. It's all because I tripped over those mines, really. Ooh, wait, here we go. There we go, now I'm good. All right, let's do this. We're gonna do grenades right this time, shall we? Or, or not. Oh. All right. Back in. Give me that shoot first. Oh, shoot. friend I just just what I needed a little bit more health okay tactical nuke ammo with this gun shadow mimicry says okay uh, no, no, no. so okay thank you for the tip I barely noticed we've got okay we've got a different type of we have multiple types of ammo for the gun thank you for the tip all right let's go let's go in there again I'm f5 happy don't judge Wow, big help, wow. Take that. Good call, buddy, thank you. See, even if you stink like me, this will help you clean up. This tactical nuke, what are we using here? Tactical nuclear particle, that's what's up. Ooh, and another gun, still. Very cool, all right. Let's, cool, ooh, nice. Heavy armor set, nice. Wow, even more guns, yeah. All right, so, up and right. Yes, I do remember. All right, wait, don't celebrate too much though. That's how you get shot. Mm, okay. Let's look at the journal here. So now under... Locate the RW Sinex spacecraft. All right. Yeah, that's right. It's flight time, folks. We're almost out of here.
Uh, well, I will let Shadow Mimicry answer this. Map to the hangar, thank you so much for the clue. Thank you, thank you. Um, Shadow Mimicry, maybe you can... Oh, wait, we still do have a UI bug here. Check it out. Or maybe that's just the map. Here we go. Um, Shadow Mimicry, maybe you can tell us uh, and we can share with the chat about the future plans for the MAD team and the RWC universe. Please, let me know. All right, so we need to go to to the hangar, so. Did I? I have not been there. I have not been by the door, okay. Wow, here we are. That's where we're going, folks, right there. That is a tempting target, though. All right. No, that's the reactor's hall. Quarters where I've not been yet. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. We'll get there. Um. So, yeah, it seems like down this actually hallway is where I've not been. Let's go. Go into the black hole? I will, totally. Um, And agree, Gonzo. Awesome effect. And, yeah, Sophie, we're doing it. Don't worry. I'll F5 before we do it, but we got to see what happens. Ooh. Yeah, look at this. I feel like... The heavy from TF2. All right. Yeah, yeah, kind of, right? It's got that space vibe. Um, And the fight the giant slot machine. <laughs> it's got that space vibe, though, and they do it really well. Okay. Speaking of doing it really well, in case I don't do it well, it's F5. Ooh. Oh! Oh, wait. That's right. I remember now. Look. Folks. This is how the smart people do it. And maybe if you got skills with a Z, you can boost jump over it like I tried to do and failed. Like that. All right. Whoa, ho, ho. All right, yeah, I remember this part. You have to shoot, as I, if I recall correctly. Let's save it right here. Oh, shoot. Oh, my. Uh, where's my health item? I don't need it just yet, I guess. Oh, no. Reminds me of, uh, whoa, that's going to leave a mark. Ooh, shoot. Get me out of here. Reminds me of uh, a certain scene in Metal Gear 4 where you're like crawling on a, at the very end, you're like crawling through a heated corridor. Very intense. All right, do I got to, there we go. Hey, buddy. Yeah. All right. We're almost out of here. Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Got him. All right. Um, let's get the smashy stick, as is tradition. F5. <sighs> you have successfully completed the level. 
You have the option to board the spaceship we will do in the hangar and fly to the space portal to exit the system. However, please note that this part of the level is still in a testing state and some game mechanics may not function correctly or are in a testing mode. Alternatively, you can choose to conclude the game at this point. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. We got to hear that tune. Cool. Got you. Thank you, Shadow Mimicry. As soon as the machine gun runs out, they turn off. Cool. That's good, though, honestly. Um, all right. Well, you folks ready to go for a space flight? Here we go. Here we go. All right. Okay, wow, here we go. Oh, I've aced flight school, here we go. Okay, we got some some pointers there. Very nice, all right, so I hit F5. Are we doing this, folks? Are we going into the black hole? Can we do this? All right, hey, I can boost while I'm flying. Ooh, I think it's just part of the scenery. I don't think we can go back there. Oh no! Oh, and they're trying to blow me up. All right. Well, I will leave that as an exercise for you, the viewers, to go into the red hole. <laughs> Small you in the other room does not approve. Here we go, folks. Beam me out. Yeah, that was fun. Got through it in a much more reasonable time. Indeed. Definitely looking forward. Awesome. This was fun, and I was very pleased to do it again. And I feel like this project is a success in making a new distinct game in OpenMW. And I just love it, so... All right, back to the system. So yeah, I mean, at this point, when you're playing, you can go ahead and keep flying around. Let's see if I can, I don't know if I have any guns or not. But yeah, this is still kind of a very alpha part of the game. So we thank you so much. Everything was great, Shadow Mimicry. Thank you so much. Um, this is a great project and I applaud you and your team and everybody, all the work that everybody uh, put into it. It's a great, very great project. So, all right, you folks ready for some 6.0 beta time again, huh? Let's jump right into it. All right. I do want to note that I have made, oh, I've made a couple changes. Um, and some of those are things that I talked about uh, during yesterday's stream. Um, bear with me here while I make sure that I don't Okay. All right, here we go. Agreed, just echoing what Gonzo said, big props. And here we are again, it's that time. Yep, so I just wanna note that where we're at with this is uh, yeah, and Shadow Mimicry, just want to pass it along to everybody, says thank you to everybody who's watching. So, um, yeah. All right. And so I just want to note about our 6.0 beta adventures here that actually quite a lot has changed in the list um, since we started our journeys here. But we're just going to keep going. Because not too much has changed, but uh, when we do come across things that are different. Is the only civilized way to travel. Uh, <laughs> I will note and uh, and we can discuss as needed. So yeah, as you can see, wow, very chatty. Thank you for the warm welcome, Mazzalini. 
Um, yeah, so where do we leave off? Uh, yeah, so I had apparently just gotten... We had gotten Riskar ejected from town for being a jerk. And uh, we were about to get some duties from Ajira. But I believe I lack the right mushrooms for her. Um, so this would be a good time to go out and enjoy the wilderness. Uh, let's do that then. All right. Yeah, I'm sorely lacking. So, okay. Hi, Adira. All right. Let's go. And uh, let's just take a quick rundown of what I got here. So when we left off, I got a decent rapier, bare helmet, um, medium armor. You know, not typically what I go for, but it's actually one of the better things I have. And I figure medium armor will help me round out my other skills um, uh, and influence, you know, endurance. I need all the help I can get with endurance, really. Um but some of the changes, as I mentioned as I was loading up, I made last time come from in the form of the MONW gameplay Lua mod. Uh, yeah, dude, you know it. <laughs> um, oh, geez, I just double tapped like I wanted to like sprint because I was playing RoboWind. <sighs> we can do that um, with Sotha's I mean, jump boost. Yeah, here we go. But as you can see, it has a significant fatigue cost, so I try not to go too nuts with it. don't have duties for someone of your rank. Yeah, 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 there's a certain there's a certain musk merchant. I believe she may have some small tasks for you. Oh, why well, thank you. Uh Rannis Athris, everybody's favorite guild matron who is mean. All right. The Excuse me. Loading up the exterior here. All right. Let's uh, just take a real, real quick look at where we're at stat-wise here. So again, I don't have the most modern GPU, so I try to cap it, uh, it being my frame rate, at about 30 FPS. Um, I believe the refresh rate of my display is it's like 80 or more, some, something high. Um, but I can't hope to actually hit that, really. Yes, Shadow Mimicry also says, I'm trying to dash to. Yeah. <laughs> we can, again, we can do it, but it's a, it's a, too, you know, you want to do it tactically. Uh, oh, I sure am. With that sneak boost. Wow, look at that. You also use that tactically. All right. Um, yeah, we sure are. Check it. Um, this is just a different Balmora Road texture that I really like. Uh,. But yeah, we can see Lugians in action as we go a little bit further out of town. Let's go find some mushrooms. It would be hard for me to ditch Lugians uh, and the related Parallax normal map set. Can you ride the Guar? If you have the right mod, yeah, for sure. There are Guar riding mods. We don't have them uh, in the mod pack. Maybe we should. Um, yeah, but so, uh, of the gameplay changes that I mentioned that I made, one of the changes I made was I toned down the fatigue cost on swinging your weapon from Sotha's combat pack. I just felt like, especially in the early game, you're losing too much fatigue, and it's just like a, a snowball effect, right? Like, the less fatigue you have, the more often you miss, and you're missing, so you lose fatigue. And it just made the early game a little frustrating. I don't know if you guys remember my earlier sessions a few weeks ago. So I toned that down quite a lot. It's a bit more manageable. I don't know if where I have it now is perfect. Um, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that's, um, it's a good one um, for sure. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, I encourage you folks to check out the MOMW gameplay. Um, plug it into your setup and let me know what you think of those values because it's going to six, into 6.0. I feel pretty strongly that it rounds out the balance and the gameplay and everything, you know. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Uh, this is another thing, too. We'll need to somehow get ground cover generated on top of these ones, uh, these ridges. Someday when we have a way to do ground cover sanely. All right, well, 
not quite mushrooms, but I like these ones. Yeah, there we go. Why don't we go ahead and hide the mango hide there? Just look at that sky. Is, I think, one of the defining features of how we mod Morrowind is just how beautiful we can make the sky look. Uh, and, you know, the obviously the, the God Rays feature. Whew, all right. Ooh, yeah, and you'll note, look, I got the water shader on, too. Getting a pretty good FPS. And the water shader's on? Yeah, I've been tweaking it. I definitely have been tweaking it. Um, you know, you're still going to get a little dip in busy scenes. Yeah, thank you, Gonzo. Um, you're still going to get a dip in busier scenes. There's just nothing we can do about that, really. Um, unless you got, you know, <laughs> extremely powerful rig. Especially in Sadrith Mora. You know, we're going to get really busy in there with all the beautiful work Detail Devil has done. Um... But I think it's a good balance, you know, like oh, out here in the wilderness. Real smooth. And so uh, one of the changes that I mentioned we've made to the list is you'll note we've got the mushroom tree replacer going on here, which is a beautiful piece of work by Peter Bit. Peter Bit. But unfortunately, there's lots of conflicts because many things really depend on the vanilla geometries of the mushroom in this one. Beautiful as it is, it does not have the faithful geometry of the mushroom. Uh so there's conflicts everywhere, unfortunately. And as much as I love it, um, I have actually removed it in the 6.0 plans, among many others. Um, the upshot of that is that we have textures that look really good, normal maps that make it look even better, and then there's the mid-mushroom overhaul, which increases just the sheer amount of mushrooms everywhere, and the net result is really a great look. Lots of flowers. I probably should have kept going this way, huh? Let's fix that. There we go. Look at that. Just as a longtime OpenMW fan, it feels so good to see the ripple. Uh, thank you, Detail Devil. Yeah, the the snow. Yeah, uh, Detail Devil and I talked about this extensively. Uh, one of many problems uh, you get from that. Yeah, yeah, Clavia. Uh, unfortunately, um, we love the tree replacer, but it is just the mushroom tree replacer. But yeah, just unfortunately, it's the really painful thing about replacers like that, right? Like, uh, you know, take Vert's swamp trees. One of the reasons why I stopped using those is because you get out of the box, you know, misplaced mushrooms. Awkward things like that, you know. Were we going to try and save Tar Heel? Maybe I'll take the long way around. Ooh, I think we were. All right. That's why I didn't go this way. No problem. Ah, that sky. Ooh, you know what, too? There's a really interesting... Oh, whoa. <laughs> What's this? Oh, is there a bug in OpenMW? Something might have broken. Because this used to work. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's anything in my log. Yeah, okay. No root warning, not an error. No root nodes found in NIF file, xmist.nif. That's weird. Um, oh, oh no. Yeah, I accidentally control C the game. <laughs> My apologies. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a typo. Yeah. Agreed. Totally agreed. Don't try that at home. No, folks. And agreed about the water sources. Okay. So let's try that again. Why walk when I can guide? It just doesn't work. No. So what I meant to do was alt tab, but my hands did their own thing. I wanted to alt tab because I wanted to see this. Uh, which was the log I was looking at in my terminal, and we can see the the error about that missed thing. But yeah, I guess we got to open some bugs uh, for the OpenMW project, rather, because um, those things definitely used to work. Mystify. What assistance do you need? That's a that's a classic. Always worked. All right, before we GTFO though, hey Adira, I heard you need some mushrooms. Wow. Okay. Why do you approach? Why walk when I can guide? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, that. Uh, voice quest dialogue by Von Django. It's such an incredibly nice touch. All right. I especially love Caius uh, Kusane saying that he's uh, just an old skooma head. Too funny. All right, take two. So, I think I bumped my, there we go. <laughs> I bumped my camera. No joke, my camera is sitting on top of my guitar amp, uh, uh, also on top of a slinky box, so I could get the right elevation. Because <laughs> I don't have a mount for it. Okay. Talk with you? Something tells me I might regret it. Yeah, I'd like to ride that, though. I mean... <laughs> that would help for when you pull a me and close the game by mistake. Right. I feel like I should be spamming my spells so I can get good. So here we go. And let yeah, let's just take a quick note. All the water sources, uh, you know, as uh, Baby pointed out, uh, just really makes this whole stroll up and down here, you know. Like, I'm not, honestly not even mad that I have to do it again. Put it into good old first-person mode here. And I'm also actually not even mad that it's raining, even though it always rains when I'm trying to play. So eventually, we'll have a super cool jump spell, and we'll jump up there. We'll do some Balmora parkour. It's on the agenda. But uh, Calyx here needs to get good first. Unfortunately, we've got no skills. I can't even pick a clock bulb successfully. This little stretch here by Ramiros, especially with the waterfalls and all that, just looks so good. Let's pull back out here. I'm just a fan of per third person. I dig it. But we need this, because I'm not a fan of third person combat. Yeah, these waterfalls. Just something else, really. And what we'll have to do is uh, we'll have to fire up just vanilla Morrowind with Mystify. And, you know, open up a report for the dev team. They've been doing a lot of NIF hacking, you know, to get later games working. Um, so, yeah, maybe something broke. These things happen, you know. Yeah, okay, we're avoiding Tar Heel. And also avoiding the Ripple. As I, as I was saying before, I closed the game before as a long-time OpenMW fan. It's just like a dream given by Todd to finally have a Water Ripple that's frankly amazing. Okay, 
<laughs> and look at the sky. And also, while we're noting things that are beautiful, just beautiful swamp trees by our friend Shadow Mimicry. Hey. Yeah. They just fit a little bit better, I think, than the other trees that are out there. Um, and who can forget Todd's favorite? The yellow diamond with exclamation point. I'm sure that two weeks ago this worked. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just have to pinpoint what the specific SHA was uh, in the code. Yeah, right? I am error. My Zelda fans know what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, wow, yeah, so much breakage. Oof. Uh-oh, you hear that? Look at that guy. There's a friend right there. He'll whoop my butt. I'm just going to play it mage. And GTFO. Yeah, Zelda 2, yeah. From the good old days of uh, game localizations. I'm taking the long way around here because, as I recall, there's bats. Ooh, you know what? I could probably even just find what I need up on the coast here. Okay. Yeah, it's true, Gonzo. It's true. Um, and actually, uh, most folks don't realize that Zelda 1 is probably one of the original open world games, right? I mean, you could start out from the very beginning of the game and go basically anywhere. It was just on you to not get killed, you know? All right. No? Yes. Let's get in the first person here. Jira did not ask for yellow diamonds. And so this area that we're looking at here is just a beautiful piece of work by Glitter Gear. Part of the landscape series. Um, you know, this is an oft-overlooked spot on the map, I feel like. In you don't have to go over here, and there isn't really any reason to go over here. I think that's it for the mushrooms. Um, Let's see here. That, that. that. Where's the other one? Uh, Bungler's Bane somewhere. Yeah, there we go. We're good. The Plague Doctor. Yep. Yep. And we aren't quite ready to 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 go there. So, but I am definitely looking forward to that. All right, let's get out of here. Unfortunately, I don't have any intervention spell or mark recall. We're going to have to make do. Ooh, but maybe while I'm here, I can pick up a nifty helmet. Hmm? I'll take it. This is risky. Less risky. Hmm. I'll take it. I'll take it. You can never have too many pants. Yeah, yeah it's uh, all the mist uh, nodes, I assume, is what these are. Let's see. Yeah, mist, mist. So, you know, one of those features that we... There's another one, too. Waterfall Mist is airing, and there's some other... Um, in the Molag Amor region, there are, uh, like, steam emitter things that are airing, too, that I noticed the other day. So, ooh, yeah, we're going to have to report that up to the team. Get our Nif Wizards on the case. So, this is cool. Got some uh, some bobtails here. I feel like ground cover if I should pick those up. Let's see. What are they? In cave plant. 
Hey Santa, welcome, my man. I'm gonna actually have this added to ground cover if I in cave plant. These bobtails for sure should be ground coverified. Yeah, we're playing Morrowind today, actually, my friend. You know what game this is, right? I like to walk on water, though. It's my jam. You got it, buddy. Whoa! Oh, that's a really cool swimming animation, though. Just that water ripple, huh? Wow, we. All right, moving on. Those towers actually really do fit pretty well, you know. Makes Balmora a city in more of a way than just like lining up buildings everywhere, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Agreed. 11 out of 10, for sure. It's why you need to... Like, I'm playing with the water shader off to save FPS and just, like, hating myself because I can't have the ripple, you know? But it's okay. I found a happy medium. And eventually, on the CFG generator, I want to provide, like, uh, preset examples, right, where you can have good visuals that are maybe toned down just a little bit, you know, and you can have like a balance of uh, frame rate. So let's turn on the mango hut here. And we can see we're approaching Balmora. When I face this way, pretty solid. Um, I guess I uncapped it. When we start to look this way, it's getting a little busy. So, okay. Enough of that. I'm still torn about getting an NVIDIA graphics card. I have such mixed feelings. Yeah, here we go. Frame rate suffering a little bit more. Just a little bit, but it's worth it because beautiful Cities of Morrowind is beautiful. Oh me, oh my. Yeah, exactly. Now you're talking. <laughs> It's cinematic frame rate mode here in the wet city of Balmora. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to hear the chimes. Yeah, I mean, Gonzo, I agree with you. As a Linux user, I will say that NVIDIA hardware just, like, worked well and had good performance NV encoding, you know, for doing what I'm doing now. But I will say also, like, their driver support is basically, like, your graphics card becomes a paperweight once they stop supporting it, you know, because Nuvo is just, that's the open source driver for NVIDIA. It just, they can't hack it. No disrespect to Nuvo, they've got one of the hardest jobs out there, reverse engineering complicated NVIDIA hardware, you know, and I respect their project, but it's just a constant Nuvo uphill battle for those poor folks. Snapdragon fairies? Bah! He can stick it where the sun doesn't shine. Okay. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for that. Is it necessary that you speak with me? Ironic, huh? Oh, yeah. Let's take a look here where we got going. My patience is limited. Well. Okay, then. Welcome to Morrowind, Space Farmer, okay? Why walk when I can Why guide? Do you approach? All right, I got your mushrooms. Blamo. All right. A bat with Galbadir. Yeah, we're not going to go that new, Smolio. All right, give me this. I'll do your dirty work. Now listen up. 
Here's another quest voice dialogue moment. Maybe two, depending on if Galbadir is going to blab at me as I'm walking past her. Yourself. Nope, okay. Good. We all know and love this quest, of course. But maybe you've never heard this dialogue. Moraine, I've got some good news. The family amulet you asked me to look into, I think I've repaired the enchantment. It wasn't actually the jewel that the magic is woven into as I thought at first. It's actually in what the engravings of your Is it necessary that you speak time. with me? Be here. Take a look. So it's a reason for Galadir to come down here rather than just standing there. She's actually talking to our guy over here. So that's pretty cool. Very nice touch, Von Django. I really love it. What do you need? Okay. Okay, uh, Kanet, Stoneflower, Willow Anther, and Heather. I don't think I have all of these, actually. Yeah, definitely lacking Willow Anther and Stoneflower. And, uh, I got Gold Kanet there. Alright, well, let's go for another walk. Let's pick some My flowers. My patience is limited. Honestly, one of my favorite things to do while playing Morrowind. Go for a walk, picking the flowers. Oh, yes, I love my... I'm playing... Outside of streaming with you folks, I'm playing OpenMW exclusively on my Steam Deck, and that includes all the mod lists on my website. Um, you can... That little device can definitely hack it, and it's a ton of fun. And once we have a proper controller UI, it will be next-level experience. Um, Peter McKeeve has the uh, UI modes mod, and that's just like an inspiration. You know, if Zach uh, has that controller prototype that he was making, and we very well could see a proper Steam Deck UI. Why don't you speak with Ajira downstairs? You got I it. I believe she may have... Okay. Anyways, yeah, I like Steam Deck. There's something not Whoa. right about me. There's something Maybe not right about that. me. That's true. Gotta love it when the game makes philosophical statements about you. Yeah, so when you're seeing... By the way, when the game pauses like it just did, and my console... Let's do this here. It pauses, and then this spits out here. Oh yeah, I did Space Farmer for show. The game is lagging because it's like failing on, on you know, this. Um, so yeah, that's what those pauses are. I feel like when we get that fixed in the engine, that'll all go away. Actually, my Steam Deck is just... I don't know where it is, but it's close by, I assure you. Just the clouds and the sun and the rain. Uh, I love it. <laughs> Sold a GPU on the street, huh? Just like meat on the corner, like hands in your pockets. So. <laughs> That's shady, dude. No, I'm just kidding. Ooh, you know what? I am not. Let's spam some magic here, huh? Wait a minute, and I'm totally walking past the flowers that I need. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Sophia, that's basically what I do, right? I just rock. I've been rocking this hardware. My CPU I've had since like 2018, and the GPU I've had since 2020. Just kind of riding it for a while, you know? Like, when you get a good stable rig, you just want to use it. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. We all do, friend. Until it explodes or catches fire. Oh, my. Wow. I recall one time a graphics card catching fire. Uh in an office I worked at. 
Space Farmer, you worked there, but it was after you left. We had a graphics card catch fire. I just love that shader. Yeah, I believe we were testing, uh, maybe Axel will confirm or deny this story, but we were just doing the thing, testing rigs, you know, before we put them out. Uh, but again, yeah, Axel will confirm or deny that story. Maybe I'm misremembering. Oh, yeah. I've definitely had cheap PSUs, like, die, just straight up die, but never catch fire or smoke or anything. <laughs> that just seems horrifying. That's why I kind of spring for decent G uh, PSUs, you know. Damn voltage. All right. So, just walking through nature, picking the flowers. It's my kind of day. I'm getting them all. I got enough. I'm getting them all. So we need stone flower yet and willow anther. And I know we can find those further up the road. I'm just going to take my time. Ooh, strolling through here. Oh, here we go. Right here. <laughs> oh no, wow, that's funny. Willow Anther, that's it, boom. No detail devil, not yet. And I know I said maybe we might do it during the stream today, but I didn't actually get it ready beforehand, so I'm sorry. Next week, it's a promise. We'll look at them both. Detail devil and I have been talking about some alternatives to SVNR's Imperial Town's revamp textures. Um... Textures by uh, uh, an, an old friend uh, that look really good, you know. Um, so, yeah, definitely worth a look here. Uh, maybe you folks remember this lady. Hello. Please, can you help me? I've lost my way and cannot find the holy place for which I am searching. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Gonzo. Good. Good call out there. Link it for the folks out there. Because beautiful as SVNR textures are, it's not without its conflicts or performance cost. So, good to have our finger on the pulse of what the alternatives are. Thank you, Detail Devil. I appreciate you bringing that up. Just picking the flowers. She didn't want blue comment, but I'm taking it anyway. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Hop into the Discord channel if you're not there, folks. Come join. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. Her hairdo is like, okay, you look like a pilgrim, I guess. <laughs> like the Spice Girls pilgrim, but that's okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's Danae's prim and proper, and even Danae herself says some of those heads are too beautiful, and I concur, but I still like them. Okay. <laughs> but I totally agree, Clavy. That's like, wow. That's prim and proper for sure, yeah. Something about... Sunrise and sunset with these shaders is just like, bah, it never gets old. Never, ever gets old. I've walked this way hundreds of times, and I just love it every single time. A little bit more even sometimes each time when I have mods like Glitter Gear's landscape making it more beautiful for me. All right, well. Shall we loop back around, friends? Oh, yeah. Speaking of hair, let's see this one. <laughs> Begging your pardon. Have you seen a bandit nearby? I must find him. 
Never mind the face shadow, but she's got a bit of a grin there. Hello. Yeah, exactly. You know my problems, for sure. <laughs> On the other hand, though, we are fortunate to have such a great, beautiful game that we can get lost in. The sky, the sky, the sky, the sky, those clouds. I just can't say enough. That sunset. We got a good thing going here, I think. Giant mushrooms. I'll take it. Hey, lady. One thing I really like about playing on the Steam Deck is uh, gyroscopic gyroscopic controls, where I can like move the Steam Deck to. Uh, oh, hey, friend. See, look, I just can't stop for a moment. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> All right. It's a race. Hey, Fane. Welcome. No worries. Uh, glad you're here. Thanks for hopping in. I'm just, oh, you know, getting killed. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for dropping in. It's a great evening over here. Just another day in Vardenfell, am I right? Look at this. <laughs> I just don't have enough stamina to burn him enough. We can try though. Ugh. Oh no. Yeah, oh yeah, good point. That's the only spell I have, too. That actually didn't occur to me. I totally forgot about their racial resistance to fire. Um, all right, hold on. We gotta be really careful about these potions. Hey, lady, don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're actually decently cool up here in the Midwest USA for the time being. <laughs> okay, Santa. Alright, got some got some magic back. I would like to take him out without having the guards save me. Oh wait! What the heck? There's another one! Oh no! Alright, no shame. Um, wow, that's amazing. Ooh, wow, okay. Yeah, my brother's over in Greece at the moment, and they're getting a crap ton of rain. Oh, jeez. Wow. Yeah, seriously. Just another day in Vardenfell, folks. Total overhaul. Here we go. Wow. I think he probably ran out of Magicka. Nope. Wow. Holy smokes. Uh, guards. Uh, I'm a noob. Help. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, you know what? I keep going back and forth on the Magicka. So this is Sotha's combat stats shaders. Um, I keep going back and forth on how intense I want it. I think right now it's at point six. 
Wow. Look at this. Uh, I'll go to the menu after these guys get taken care of. Battle mage out there. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I figure when you're almost out of Magicka, it should be kind of like, whoa. But by the time you get a little bit higher, it's actually not that bad. So what did I set it to? Um, and this is in the MOMW gameplay, Luamod. Yeah, yeah, so that's um, Protective Guards by Kindy and also Guards Hounds by Ezzy. Through the Magicka? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I dropped the Magicka one down to 0. 0.6. I was playing with 0. 0.3 for a while, but at 0. 0.3, it was just so low that you could barely notice it even when you were out completely. Um, maybe 0. 0.5 is more of a better value for most folks, but I'm going with 0. 0.6 for now because I like to see it. You know, I'm almost out of Magicka. I should be a little woozy maybe. Um, wow, okay, well, so this just happened. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. This guy. All right, oh yeah, we gotta fix that Ken doll effect on the, <laughs> the Dunmer mail, yikes. Okay, wow. Look, it's another corpse from another time I ran over here by get it, while getting killed by somebody. No shame. And honestly, it kind of makes the sunset look just kind of like, whoa. Okay. I believe we were trying to head back after picking flowers. Do you want something? Just another day in Vardenfell. Five it up. And I did outright just remove the, the Bethesda proprietary music from my music folder, but I do still have my uh my memeified death song. So if I die we can have a good chuckle. Certainly one thing I've noticed with friends and foes, if you're using the foes aspect of it, there seems to be, you know, where there's one, there's probably like a group of angry people. Ah, this guy, yeah. Maybe he got friendly fired, I feel like. I'm taking it. All right. So I have a right pauldron, not a left. Let's go ahead and suit it up. Oh no, I did. What a goof I be. Okay. Um, no armor though. So give me that. Give me that. Oh yeah, Gonzo. I've been using that. It's solid. For sure. We do. We do. We for sure do. Battle Mage Hood. I like that. 19. And that's a heavy armor, too. Ooh. Uh, we're going with this. Wow, cool. And it fits on my beast character head. That's really cool. Digging it. Yeah. It's satisfying, though, like when you do actually get it, right? Uh, and then you got a bunch of loot, which when you're playing with the economy mods we're using, it's like, wow, this is like pff, 120 gold. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you need basically everything you can get. Oh, yeah, we're going to switch to heavy armor. I like as a mage, uh, and by the way, this is our lucky character, too. Um, as a mage, I like to invest in heavy armor because I get that endurance boost that you need. You know, look at me, I'm fragile. Though, got quite a bit of fatigue, I will say. All right, um, what else can I do? No boots. Left pauldron, iron. Yeah. Let's do that. Steel cave, can I do that? Yeah, I can, sure can. 16, 19, all right. We're a little bit 
more well clothed. And yeah, that battle mage helmet looks pretty cool, I gotta say. One of the awesome things about Morrowind, I think, is like just how ragtag your player character looks with all the armor you sort of inherit. Yeah, thanks for nothing, lady. That night sky. Ooh. I just love it. Love it. The sunset light on the Dwemer ruins. The grass rustling as I walk past it. We just need some lightning right now. N that's right, Gonzo. Uh, our friend Detail Devil here has actually made a normal map set for DOB. And it's fantastic. It's really good. And we will be using that one. Uh, and that is on the same mod page as the DOB Texture Upscale. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Uh, our friends Static Nation and Detail Devil. Oh, okay, Static. Okay, all Static. Good deal. Props to Static, and thank you so much for your, for your work on that. Oh, look. Um. There is no escape. Wow. Here we go. Here we go again, folks. You will die. I thought you made those for some reason. That's my bad, Detail Devil. I thought you made those. Mm. Yet another dumber that will that will just take our. All right, here we go. Thankfully, we're right by the fort. Here we go again, huh? Ha! I'm just whiffing it with this long blade. What's my stat at again? Right. My other character is long blade. This guy is spear. We need to get ourselves a bound spear spell. Stat. Help. Yeah, here they come. Send the hounds. There's always one guard that has a bear. It's, uh... Yeah, here's the bear. <laughs> it's always one. Oh, cool. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Very excited. I've never played Doors of Oblivion, and that's, like, one of the high points of my coming, uh, you know, playthrough Looks that I want like to do. Um, well, you too, lady. I mean, look at that. That's a Looks TR like head, I think. Looks like you've already got some of what's coming to you. Okay. Thanks for that. Everybody wants me to know that they don't like me. It sounds like a normal day. Okay. Can we make it to Balmoral without getting attacked again? That's the question. Yeah, it's chugging on those uh, waterfall mists again. That's what these pauses are all about. Uh, another day, another bug. It's the way of the Todd. All 
All right. So we got the flowers that Jira wants. Uh, I believe next up, she's going to ask us to get her a ceramic bowl. And we all know what that leads to. And so a little bit of the motive about our character here is trying to aspire into magic. Wants to avoid the Telvanni for obvious reasons. We want to seek out House Redoran for membership. I've actually never played House Redoran once. Who's this shady character? It comes near. What does it want? I got what you need. Ooh. This is the kind of thing that can get you in trouble. Right? Yeah, me neither, Sophia. I'm like House Telvani all the way. I just can't help it. I can't imagine living anywhere else except Ubira's grave. I just can't. I'm sorry. Sweet. That's great detail, Devil. I'm glad that you folks are working on that. Um, very grateful. I don't have any duties for someone of your rank. Why don't you speak with Ajira downstairs? I believe she may have some small tasks for you. Okay. I suppose it is my duty to help those less... Nothing we gets you there Sarah? faster than magic. <laughs> we need to... I don't know. Isn't there like a GMST that affects the range, the greeting range? We really need to drop that down. I don't want people talking to me unless I'm right here. You know? Don't have me walk past you and then say, Why are you talking to me? <laughs> I don't like that. All right. There you go. You got it, dude. Except it's nighttime. And you're going to charge me to sleep in the bed. It is my you will address me with respect for myself. Can I? Yeah. Hundred gold. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, on that note, Gonzo. Excuse me. This is a really nice line the first time you hear it. Identify yourself. Thank you for that call out, Clavy. I've seen the Pax Redoran mods, and I know that there's a couple, I don't want to say equivalent to like Rise of House Telvani for Redoran, but there's something kind of like that out there. Uh, so let's see here. This one right here. Step right up, friend, and look over my collection of scrolls. How about the flashy and cheap Taldum Scorcher to burn your foes, or on Ducey's unhinging to open stuck chests and doors? But she says that like every time you walk up to her. So not that she's somebody at the moment you would come and talk to regularly, but you know, maybe the time will come when you would. Like if a certain mod, you know, has Galbadir in it. Of your rank. Why don't you speak with Ajira downstairs? I believe she may have some small tasks. I believe in the past five minutes we've heard that line at least twice. So here you go, folks. That mod is beautiful. But, uh, you know, certainly if you've played Oblivion or Skyrim or any of the other later Bethesda games, that's like an issue, right? The chatty NPCs that are just like, almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. What do you want? Well, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that, honestly. That's one approach. It's altering the mod on a level that I'm not too comfortable with. But I agree, I don't know. There's some approach, maybe we can shorten the greeting distance or something like that uh um you know detail devil noted that there's a lot of options for ai and i do remember seeing something in there uh, her jackson and i've been working on an nwas guide update so um yeah you know we can we can see what our choices are maybe we can add something to the patch collection for the site you know uh yeah wait wait so i wanted to go buy a ceramic bowl Ravir knows why you are here. You want to buy Ravir's famous Daedric weapons? Just your famous ceramic bowl, please.
Thanks, friend. Mm, beautiful coinage. Just taking my time over here. Yeah, um, for all NPCs. Yeah, so maybe when we can do it with Lua and we can dynamically do it when the game starts up, you know, we wouldn't have to have an ESP that's like hard coded. Um, exactly, agreed, Sophia. Um, I think we can strike a balance. Once the Lua API allows us to do something like what Detail Devil described um, in a de hard coded fashion, because it would be just a huge pain to manage compatibility. Why don't you speak with Ajira downstairs? You will I address me with respect. Oh my. <laughs> but yeah, we could do something like that. I feel like Lua would be the key to doing it in a sane way. That's not I a pain to maintain. Time, so be quick about this. You talk to me, bro. Don't tell me about that. <sighs> my patience is limited. All right. Teleportation Warm is the only greetings. civilized way to travel. The Argonian <laughs> speaks. All right. <laughs> Stolen reports. Hey, it's my mod. Here we go. Um... Oh yeah, Zach has a cat is the resident um Lua wizard. Yes, Gonzo. I do. I really well, yeah, I mm, let's talk about that off stream. I'm not actually sure. Um Zach has a cat is the resident Lua wizard though. Um he would definitely have an idea about where we're at in re in regards to being able to do this with Lua. Um stolen reports, so yay, plug my own mod here. Oh no. So I made the mod, so I know where all the points are. But I got to tell you, it was a little tough. I mean, this Mage's Guild building is not really large. There's not really a lot of places where you can put things, you know? So you I had to, like... something to say to me? Yes. I mean, no. Go away. I had to really, like, think about where I was going to put stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. I think there were uh, six... For each scroll locations here in the BCOM version. Um, so here we go. What assistance do you need? It seems like they end up over here a lot when I'm playing. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Like, oh, which one is it? Yo, don't mind me. I'm just going to jump on your table. Oh, he actually ended up not over here, maybe? There's the flower report. I stuffed one of them down here. Hey, hey, hey. I cannot think with all these interruptions. Please leave me alone. <laughs> you leave me alone. Come on. <laughs> I agree. That was a great. <sighs> no, not here. Okay. Oh, please, no, don't. Let's hear it, Argonian. No. I do retain the original locations, and sometimes that's where they end up. Here we go. Out the way, buddy. Come on. And I will say, too, just taking a look around here, too, you'll notice the very ambient lighting that we're rocking here. And uh, that's props to Waza Bears. About this, or find someone else to talk to. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Props to Waza Bear for the light fixes script, which produces the really like ambient vibe here. Um, and in my opinion, it's like a more modern take on true nights and darkness um, that can be specially adapted for any load order. And we'll be using that in 6.0. You know it. I my patience time, is so limited. Be quick about this. Oh my gosh. All right. Swift hunting, friend. Thank you. 
you Why as well. Why walk when I can guide? Oh my. Oh, wait a minute. I need you, though. You know what, though? Since I'm broke, we're going to game the system here a little bit. I'm going to get my promotions first and then go talk to her with a little, perhaps a little bit of a disposition boost. Get a little bit of a discount, maybe. I'm a cheapskate. And I'm also going to let this guy. Yeah. Leave me alone, buddy. Okay. I thought I was going to get another robe, but I think I need another Can't promotion. Manwe. Kill her. Don't come back here until you get some results. That's another one we'll, we'll be hearing all the time until we do that quest. Be quick about this. Or find someone else to talk to. Oh, me oh my. Okay. Well, what do you folks think, since the stream is just about wrapping up, what do you think we take a look at the new UI mod by Peter McKeith? I'm going to go ahead and copy that into place. Hold on. Bear with me here. Cool. All right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Gonzo. All right. Uh, let's see. A total overhaul. Okay. So it's kind of like a, if you've played um, Skyrim, it's a lot like that UI. And while this is mostly, uh, I think, kind of a proof of concept, actually it is a fully usable thing. Let's go ahead and save it. Oh, come on. There you go. Okay, here we go. There will be more Morrowind, don't worry. And so, uh, if you were watching us play Robowind just a moment ago, this user interface might be a little familiar. But it demonstrates uh, some of the changes that they've made to the Lua API regarding user interface. And so we'll just go Let's ahead and do the old right... Oh my gosh, okay. We'll just go ahead and do the old right click like, like we normally do, and whoa, what's that? We have a totally new inventory UI here. So I mean, if we click the journal, we get the journal, inventory and stats, boom, inventory and spells, boom, map, boom. I don't know, I mean, I kind of love this. Um, the only thing we need now is, yeah, just a re-implementation of these various things so we can, you know, use a controller to play it. But, yeah, here you go, folks. This is the future of user interface mods in OpenMW brought to you by Peter McKeeve. Um, wow, check it. The game isn't even paused. Cool. Look at that. Real time. Wow. I didn't even notice that is when I played it before. That That's so cool. Yeah, I'm telling you, very nice. So um, later today, we're going to be adding this mod to the website. Um, I'll be publishing it on GitLab, and we'll host it just like I host all my other Lua mods on GitLab. But yeah, ma major props to Peter McKeeve and all the other folks that work on the Lua API. We are getting awesome stuff like this on a weekly basis, practically, you know, and I feel very By happy about gods, that. By the gods, you tourists are a nuisance. I've wanted... Menus don't pause the game for some time now because actually if you played multiplayer, you know, that's that's the rule there not the exception um, And yeah, look at this. So now you can't cheese the game by going into the menu We also have like a slight panning of the camera while we're in here um, Really cool stuff. I mean, this is a really exciting I will listen, Mod Amanda, that, that again is a proof of concept, but you could totally use it. I'm going to use it
<laughs> I love this. And yeah, you can have like the full screen map here, you know, um, and it's not going to sort of trample over your other UI stuff. Um, way over here. Yay. Ah, this is exciting. Cool. <laughs> Whoa, okay. So there's our teleporting mages, Sophie. I don't know. Just want to let you know I haven't what do you want? I haven't seen any more dead NPCs after the first one I saw. <laughs> don't know what's going on with that. It's still a mystery. All right. Let's make our way to the Redoran city, shall we? Uh and again, this is still BCOM 2.9. This isn't the new stuff, unfortunately. You know, you're not going to want to update that mid-playthrough. So, um, since we started the Adventures of Calyx here, as I said, some stuff has changed, and that would be one of the things, majorly, that has changed. <laughs> Just the random things NPCs will say, though. I mean, make this mod worth it, really. Yes, it's annoying to be spammed by the same things over and over again, but those random tidbits are just like... <laughs> they make you chuckle. They make me chuckle. Ah. That sky. And wait, wait. What else? In case you guys forgot that we got Ripple. Ah. As Todd intended. And I'm hoofing it all the way to uh, Aldrune just because... I don't know. We can try to get good, you know. Wow, it's going to take a minute to get used to this new non-pausing inventory. Wait a lot and jump everywhere. Yeah, that's playing Morrowind right. <laughs> and what's cool about that, though, is if you're using natural character growth and decay, you've got that decay, right? So, like, it's not just a for free mechanic game, right? Like, you're every time you wait, that decay is going up a little bit. Um, oh, look, it's another friend up here, I feel like. I toyed around with very fast decay um, and very slow growth, and it is indeed very fast and very slow. So that could be an optional, you know, hard mode boost there. Oh, look, are you going to attack me? Oh, shoot. <laughs> As I go to pick my spell. All right, you know what? We're going into first person because jumping is a little janky in third person, honestly. And we're going to jump our way to Caldera. And I don't want to shoot. Wow. You really got to think about opening the inventory. That's cool. That is one of the remaining cheesemo things in the game, I feel like, is like bringing up the menu to pause the game in the heat of combat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to make it. The guard with the bear is going to save us. That governor's manner, huh? How about that? Looking good. That's that big thing in the in the distance there. Looking mighty good. It's coming right for us. Wait, did I? Do oh no, I sure didn't. Wow. Hey, welcome, Logan's Gun. So glad you joined us. <laughs> Thanks for being here. And yeah, Scribs, I love... That's one thing, I love being in the wilderness and you just hear the tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Thanks for joining, though. I'm so glad you're here. All right. I really can't help you, stranger. Here comes the cavalry. <laughs> It's going to be good when we finally are able to, you know, whack some dudes of our own. <laughs> yeah, they do, though. They do. Mm. 
Did they get him? Wow, he summoned the animunculi. Cool. That's a very rare... There's a very rare chance the guards will bring up this. Say your business. Uh, you know, when we can read uh, factions with Lua, as he's going to make it so only Telvani guards will pull that up. Um, can't quite do that yet. Wow, so what do you guys think about this, huh? I'm just loving this. This is really, like, this changes the game of, of inventory right here, literally. Um, oh, there was a... Where's my... Uh-oh. That's no good. Should I be seeing my... So I don't know. Is that normal to not see my inventory when I open the dead thing? Yo, Serve the emperor and the emperor's law. You coming back or what? <laughs> so they, yeah, this is an interesting thing. Okay, I had somebody mention this to me about protective guards and they don't run back. Um, there would be a, an interesting addition is to have them go back into town, right? Because now I just got these dudes hanging out here. Maybe they'll like despawn or whatever. Just that OAAB data normal map set you can see the light reflecting on the bug shield there it's pretty cool like the the grooves on it and the shadows good stuff i love it i also love this rapier that i got too wow that's pretty nice Ah, here we are. A certain manner of chaos. Say your business. No, you. A certain bar with a mystery. Shank shovel. Yeah, great question, Clayby. So, uh, Ferris was making a quick loop mod, and also Zach Has a Cat was doing a controller GUI that had quick loop built into it. I am not sure of the status on either of those. I will note, though, that um, the quick loop mods of uh, the script extender variety, both for Morrowind and later Bethesda games, all have a weird quirk where you can, like, look at a container, and if you hit activate on the right frame, you can bypass the quick loop menu and get the old loop menu. Um, we won't have that problem. Yeah, but you might poke Ferris about it um, in my channel, you know, or in the modding channel, see where he's at with it. Um, I've been meaning to ask Zach about that controller mod too, because obviously being on the Steam Deck, I want it. Go ahead, stranger. Hello. I like the TR faces, and I believe that's what we got right here. This is a TR face. I like those. They look good. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Very, very good stuff here. Um, this is Serve like the emperor and the emperor's law. <laughs> so we come away from this stream with, I think, at least one conclusion. We need to have some way to kind of bring sanity uh, to the gre NPC greetings. And yeah, Clayby, man, this this GUI, the possibilities here are pretty huge, you know. Um, and yeah, being able to control whether the game pauses when the menu comes up or not. And yeah, of course the the long wanted uh, quick loot mod, which is definitely high on the list of things I want to see. Um, but yeah, I think our takeaway from this stream, folks, we got a RoboWin demo that is completed and very well put together. Uh, and uh, again, props to the Mad Team for that. And thanks to Shadow Mimicry for helping us along there. And yeah, 6.0 coming along pretty well. We got folks in Discord helping us pol polish up 5.10. Um, yeah, right? And, and I think another takeaway, uh, as Fane is alluding, alluding to here, we need to have, I don't know, I feel like there needs to be a balance. Um, not every NPC should walk up to me and yell at me about they, how they don't want me to talk to them. Because <laughs> I agree. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, we're going to leave it here for today, folks, though. And uh, I thank you so much for joining as usual. Happy modding and have a lovely day. And I'll see you all on Discord and next week on the stream. Cheers.